I rise like the sun sometimes, but then I fall. Like a black moon, I rise when the night falls. When the night falls, the mic calls. So listen, it's the ultra vibe of to keep me rising on the mission. I rise like the sun sometimes, but then I fall. Like a black moon, I rise when the night calls. When the night falls, the mic calls. So listen, it's the ultra vibe of to keep me rising on the mission. What up, High Beast? So we just found out that Ernie Grunfeld has been let go as president of the Washington Wizards. Now, Grunfeld has been leading this franchise for like the past 16 seasons. So he's been there a very, very long time. Um, apparently, the Wizards just decided that they wanted some new blood in there um, to lead the franchise. And plus, things haven't been going well for the Wizards. I remember a couple years ago, um the wizards were looking like they were gonna like have some type of rivalry with the boston celtics or whatever since then the boston celtics have kind of ascended even though they they kind of took a step back this year but since then the boston celtics have ascended and washington has been missing the playoffs the past couple years and even before then um you know they had earlier exits than people would have liked so Washington is joining the field of teams that will be looking for a new GM this offseason um, or a new president, somebody new to lead the organization. Um, right up there with the Pelicans, the Pelicans will be doing the same type of situation. But yeah, man, um, not a great situation in Washington. I mean, it just depends on how you view John Wall. If you think John Wall is worth the contract, that massive contract that they got him. Um, for that they won't be able to ever trade most likely as the years go on the more you won't be able to trade John Wall um, if you're not scared of that then you can choose to look at Washington as a good opportunity I mean they still have Bill it doesn't look like Bill is going to get moved uh, you know Thomas Robinson has taken a step forward they have some some young pieces that they just got from the Bulls who are you know playing okay we'll see how they resign these guys it's possible, especially in the Eastern Conference, um, the Wizards can reform that team, figure it out, and try to, you know, battle for one of the bottom four playoff seeds. It's definitely a possibility, but um, there's another way to look at it. You know, you're not going to have that much flexibility ever paying John Wall that type of money and coming back from a heel injury from a um, Achilles, a torn Achilles it's going to be hard for him to live up for the, to that, especially considering that most of his game was speed and explosiveness. Um, that's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough contract to live up to. So they definitely have challenges. Bradley Beal isn't, you know, being paid chump change. They definitely have some challenges with that team. So if you believe in John Wall and um, you believe in, you know, the talent and you, you know, want the money that's going to be available to you in Washington and want the location, Washington could be a good, uh, definitely a good um, situation for you. But if that John Wall contract scares you, yeah, you might not want to go to Washington. <laughs> anyway, let, let me know what you guys think down below. Are you excited about Ernie Grunfield finally given, being given the old hee-ho, heave-ho? Or, you know, should they have taken their time and made a better decision? Let me know down below in the comment section. All right, see you next time.